Raxus Secundus was the seat of power of the Separatist Parliament in the Clone Wars, hosting many of the galaxy's most influential senators and giving the CIS legitimacy that it needed to stand against the Republic. But how would you invade this tranquil world? Now, it's important to remember that the CIS didn't technically have a home world. They adopted the stateless strategy in the war, which meant waging war against it was incredibly difficult. However, if you were going to specify their point of power, it would most probably be Raxus Secundus. This is not only where all of the senators met, but it's also where Dooku often dwelled to command the senate. For this reason, you want to take it. Now, the idea here is that if you can take Raxus from the Separatists, then you essentially break up the alliance. Remember, it's the parliament that maintains the cooperation of all these different worlds and systems. It's also the main way Dooku expels power over the CIS through the democracy. So if you capture this world and its senators, then it's going to greatly disturb their operations. Now, first things first, Raxus Secundus is not going to be easy to take. It's deep in separatist space, and it's incredibly well protected, not only by a fleet, but by ground forces. You also need to remember this is a delicate operation, you can't kill these senators. Yes, they are your enemies, but remember, you eventually want to bring the separatists back into the Republic, and if Republic troops gun down planet's representatives, then it could devastate these relations for generations to come. Now, the first and possibly the largest problem you're going to be facing is the Separatist fleet surrounding the world. The Armada of capital ships keeps a lock on it, and knows exactly what goes on and off the planet. Not only this, but being so deep into Separatist space means that they can be reinforced relatively quickly. So what do you do? Well, you need to divert their fleet, as engaging it directly is far too risky. You're going to want to create a distraction, forcing the Separatist fleet to move away from the planet, perhaps suggesting Republic troops are invading a nearby world or system. So they will divert some of their armada to there, making it far weaker and lowering the presence of Separatist ships. I would then recommend using stealth ships fitted with cloaking devices to sneak past the remaining fleet and get some troops onto the world. Now, as far as troops that you're sending to the world, you don't want an entire army. The planet is well defended, and you cannot risk getting bogged down in conventional warfare. You want to be fast and precise. For this reason, I suggest that you make three teams. One set of Jedi. These will be responsible for dealing with Dooku, assuming he is on the world. The second will be a detachment of ARC troopers, some conventional clones led by Jedi. And these will be responsible for actually completing the objective and securing the parliament, as that is your aim here. They also need to ensure the surrender. And finally, you're going to have a pod of cloned commandos. As we discussed on the previous video, clone commandos were designed to perform near impossible tasks. These troops are going to be tasked with sneaking into the capital city where the parliament is, and lowering the city's defences, allowing the rest of your troops to sneak in undetected. From here, you're going to wait until parliament is in session, as you want all of the senators in one place. If the parliament's not in session, then it's going to be far too easy for the senators to escape before your plan is executed. From here, the Jedi and ARC troopers will move on the Parliament and lock it down, destroying all security droids and holding the Senators in custody. It's going to be more of a hostage situation though, realistically. Meanwhile, the Commandos will be launching another attack, possibly on a security facility in the city, to ensure majority of the Separatist forces in the city are distracted and away from the Parliament, allowing the Jedi and ARC troopers to do their job. Whilst all this is happening, your team of Jedi will attempt to arrest and probably kill Count Dooku, assuming he is on the world. Now, someone such as Mace Windu would probably be the best option for this, as he is the highest regarded warrior in the Jedi Order, and I believe that he, combined with some other Jedi, would not struggle to defeat the Sith Lord. Now, from here, you have the Separatist Parliament in your hands. You've also taken out the leader of the CIS. But what do you do now? Well, the Separatist Council are the only ones that are unaccounted for and they're going to be forced to react in one of two ways. Either one, they're forced to negotiate peace. With their political legitimacy now in the hands of the Republic and leader presumably dead, the CIS Council knows that their ability to operate is severely hindered. Even with all their wealth, they can't ensure cooperation from the countless worlds in the Confederacy, and without Dooku keeping them all together, their cause will die a slow death. So it would probably be best to negotiate peace now, whilst they still have a chance of avoiding huge repercussions for their actions. 
or two, and what in my mind is probably the most likely, they launch a counterattack, and this is going to be disastrous. Likely using someone like Grievous would mean a blunt and brutal counterattack on the capital to ensure the Republic forces are destroyed. In this scenario, countless civilians and likely separatist senators will be killed. It's very likely Republic forces will be forced to flee, as they'll be incredibly outnumbered. However, this isn't necessarily a defeat. In doing this reckless manoeuvre, it will show the other members of the Confederacy the true nature of its wealthy benefactors and its military arm. And this is going to severely hinder the war effort for them. Many worlds and systems will refuse to support the group that so heavy-handedly responded to this situation and caused numerous deaths of their people and representatives. Not only this, but assuming Dooku is dead, many would refuse to continue to follow whoever was voted next into power, likely being one of the tycoons from the council. So this invasion plan isn't really in the idea of actually taking control of the world, it's in many ways forcing the separatists into a political checkmate. Ultimately, I believe that an attack on Raxus Secundus and the seizing of the Separatist Parliament and death of Dooku would be her historic turning point, and would severely cripple the Separatists' ability to continue the war. But what do you think? Could this work? And how would you recommend invading this world and winning the war? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please remember to like, share and sub if you did enjoy it as it's really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy and tick the bell for regular updates. Thanks again for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.